Jobs must be our number one focus in 2010, and that's why I'm calling for a new jobs bill tonight. Okay, well, President Obama talking tough on jobs during last night's State of the Union address, and uh, also President Obama calling for small business tax credits and a doubling in exports in an effort to boost employment. So do his proposals make any sense? Well, we are joined by Super Mario, that is Mario Gabelli, who manages over $24 billion as chairman and CEO of Gamco Investors, a regular on our program. Mario, good to see you. Great to be here. Talk about the markets and stocks, and stocks particularly. All of your favorite stuff. And uh, Happy New Year, by the way. I don't know. Is it too late? to say that Never. still? <laughs> okay, so uh, you probably were, I don't know, watching the State of the Union address like everybody else, and you actually have been saying for many years, uh, or for at least the last year and a half, that, you know, it's important for Obama that number one is jobs. And it's been a lot worse than you imagined, right? Well, the uh, unemployment rate is a lagging indicator, and it continues to uh, not improve, but it's not that much worse, the 10 percent, 17 and a half percent, but it is bad. It is bad indeed. Do you see anything, though? Do you, do you see the progress? Do you see the progress at all from the Obama administration? The notion of focusing on jobs, how do we create the next Google, how do we create the next YouTube, how do we create the next Apple, really requires that you allow venture capitalists to put money into startup companies and so on, and to give the entrepreneur the clarity and the conviction that he can make money and let him move ahead. You have to unshackle the American creativity, and that's what's going to create jobs next time around. And yet you hear more talk about taxes, you hear health care reform. I'm not hearing unshackling this money. Well, there's a couple of parts. Venture capital needs a return so that the state retirement systems, the university endowments will give them resources. They need to show good returns. One of the chokeholds on that is unfortunately Sarbanes-Oxley, you have to remove that as a subset of all of regulation that is choking off At a time creativity. like this, forget it, right? Well, it, 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 no, no, but you've got to be more of a scalpel. I, clearly you need regulation in the, in the banking industry. Clearly the hedge funds have to be taxed in a different way. But when we're trying to create jobs, if we're going to focus on that, we want to unleash the power of American creativity, ingenuity, invention, and that's one of the elements, capital. Now the part that goes through the banks, that's one thing, but they're not the risk takers that the venture capitalists are. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. the, and that's important for the jobs. For our firm, for example, just hired 12 people. Where is really? the why? So you're because, adding to the economy here, obviously. Well, hopefully. <laughs> uh, intellectual property is our key. Uh, you know, the, the people that created Avatar, intellectual property. How do we protect that? How do we create jobs through exports? Agriculture, movies, intellectual property. So going back to small business, conviction, clarity, capital, but also the ability to see the future. Okay, Mario, I, in the time, I want to just roll you very quickly um, what we heard from Bill Clinton at Davos yesterday talking about not just regulation, but Bernanke as well. What we have to do, what Congress needs to do, and what the financial community needs to do, is not to deny that we need more effective regulation. If they don't like the specifics the President's proposed, they ought to say what they are for. But we shouldn't... Uh, we shouldn't have any more shams, and we shouldn't say that things are off limit. We shouldn't do it. So I, I, I applaud the fact that the president and Congress are trying to deal with this. Okay, I know it was hard to hear that, but basically Clinton was saying, look, you know, we shouldn't have any more shams, uh, you know, that, that these, regu these regulatory loopholes that people can exploit, uh, that regulation, uh, you know, when employed properly is a good thing. I, we all agreed to that because even Adam Smith said that the U.S. government has to be a traffic cop in some form to uh, while we're letting the market allocate capital. And that traffic shop, the sheriff, disappeared over the last seven or eight years. So. Mm.